Hey y'all, how you doing? Haven't been online much lately. Just been a slow week. Sorry about that. All you guys who thought we keep it up, I'm posting every day. I will. I'll try my best. I can come out and talk to you all. Anyways, I'm here to talk to you about suicide. One of the number one leading deaths in the U.S. and probably even around the world. In the U.S., we have a main problem. Bullying. Suicide, though, isn't mainly because of bullying. It happens all kinds of reasons. Breakups. Uh, sexual abuse. Regular abuse. Physical, emotional. So it happens because of a ton of reasons. But it happens mainly with teenagers, I believe. And that's not good because those teenagers haven't lived. They haven't experienced all the life. They haven't experienced getting fired from their first job. Or going on and marrying someone and falling in love. Some teenagers do get that. But not many. Most teenagers aren't married at the age of 15 or anything. I'm sure as hell not. But suicide, that takes that stuff away from that person. We all can help that person out, you know, we can talk to them, say, what's up, man, why are you struggling today, why, are you, why were you crying last hour, why are you crying at work today, we can talk to them, there's many different ways we can talk to them, too, don't go straight up to them, and be like, man, why are you crying, don't do that, it's, it's not good, try and be, not subtle, but Ease into it. Don't straight go in and say, Why are you crying today? <laughs> Don't do that. I mean, they're probably not going to want to. Just go straight in. Just let them know you're there for them. Go up to them. Tell them, I'm here. I got your back if you need anything. Boss laying into you. I'll try and stand up for you. Don't risk your job. But try and help the person. Try and help them get through whatever they're having a problem with. Maybe they were divorced or having problems with financial. If you know that, maybe they're homeless and they're not being able to support themselves with a job. Maybe offer your room up to them. Let them have the couch for a little while so they can get back on their feet and settle the debt they're on. But also with teenagers, if you're walking down the halls and you see someone crying, don't just go, okay, they're crying, so what's normal? It is normal, but it's not really normal just to let it go. Don't do that. You can help someone out many different ways. Being there is the number one way. Always let someone know you're there for them. If you care about them, let them know that. Don't just blow them off. Many people go through many different things. Some are raped, shot at, beat up, or just called mean names. And that takes into them. It doesn't mean... You can just let it be. If you see and you know someone going through something like that, don't let it go. You can't let that go. It's not good. There's all different types of suicides. We all know that. Some hang themselves. Some take pills. There's all different kinds. Don't let a friend of yours or someone you know be one of those people on the list of suicide. Don't let them be that number on the end of the year amount of suicides 2015. Don't do that. Try and help them out. Don't let them be bullied, fired. If they're fired, they may have been fired for a really good reason. But don't just let them go home and just be homeless. Maybe help them out. There's many different things you can do. I want you all to drive for just one minute every day and think of what you could have done to help someone you saw upset. If you can do that, you'll be a better person every day. Thank you. You all have a good day. If you ever need anything, my email will be in the comment section. I'll put out my Facebook and all that junk. If you all ever need anything, I'm here. Just comment and subscribe. Like, be here every day. Thank you. Have a good one.